am today is the 7th of September 2016. I'm at home, which is nice, for about five more days. And then I go to the UK, to Northern Ireland, where I will be studying abroad for the coming semester. It's very exciting. These last few days have been very much getting ready mode. You know, there's so much to do before the beginning of any semester, and particularly before the beginning of a semester abroad. So I've done a lot, and I haven't done enough, and I'm really stressed. And today, I got to be super extra stressed, because there was a big misunderstanding on my part about whether I needed a visa ahead of time or not. Now, what I was told by the study abroad website that I'm sort of, for the program I'm doing, and by the people who run the study abroad orientation at my school, is that I didn't need to get a visa ahead of time, that I bring a bunch of documents to the airport, and then they put it all together, and they're like, here you go, go on your merry way. This is what I thought was true. Today, I was looking to see what those documents were, and came upon this website that was the official visa website, and it was sort of listing the documents you needed, and then below the documents it said apply. Like, well, do I, do I need to apply online? The kind of visa that I need, which is the short-term student visa, is listed as the kind of visa that you need to apply for. And so I freaked out because you're really supposed to apply to visas up to three months, but at least three weeks in advance. And I filled out the application in a fit of panic, and I ran to my father and was like, I don't know how to do these couple of questions. Can you help me? And he helped me. And I thought that it was going to be okay, and then I got to the next section, which is booking an appointment in what would be for me probably Charlotte in two weeks. I'm like, I'm not going to be in the United States in two weeks. This is not good. So, in my fit of panic, I emailed the people at the visa office because they were already closed, and I emailed the people at the school because they were already closed, and I couldn't call either of them. And I was like, please help. I don't know what's going on. I thought these things were true, and now it's too late to do anything else. What what can I do here to help me survive? I'm like, okay, this is all I can do. This is all I can do. I've done the best that I can, but I've got, you know, the anxiety in the stomach that makes it feel like somebody's just twisting your guts all day, no matter what you are trying to think about, no matter what you're trying to do. And you're basically just dead. It sucks. It sucks. Anxiety sucks. I don't think this is news to anyone. Then I was, I was like, I'm going insane. I'm just going to read everything on the website again. Because I have read everything. I've been paying a lot of attention. And then there was a link that it turned out I hadn't clicked on. And it said, do you need a visa? And I just assumed because it gave me the option to apply for a visa that obviously I needed a visa. Like if there wasn't, if it didn't have to, the link wouldn't be there if I didn't need to do it. So I did a thing. And it's like, where are you from? I'm like, the United States. Why are you coming to study? How long are you staying? Less than six months. You, oh, you don't need a visa. You're fine. Uh, and so I, I like promptly burst into tears. That said, you know, I really do only need to take this set of documents to the airport with me. And I will be able to get into the country. And I wasted about three hours of my life trying to figure out a mystery that did not need to be solved. All right, Am, I will see you on Saturday. I will see you right now.